So, you want to make lo-fi. I'm about to show you how to become a rich and famous lo-fi music producer, capable of producing all those sweet 24-7 lo-fi beats to study and chill to. I'm assuming most of you already know what lo-fi is, but for the less informed out there, let's start with a brief overview. If you do a Google search, Wikipedia will tell us that lo-fi is a music or production quality in which elements usually regarded as imperfections of a recording are audible. Many notable producers include The Beach Boys, Paul McCartney, and many more. But let's throw that garbage definition out the window and go with what the internet thinks lo-fi is. Lo-fi is stealing a dead person's jazz music and throwing a mediocre and hastily mashed together beat over it. Great, you're already halfway there. Step 1. Download FL Studio. Some naysayers will try to convince you that other music production programs exist. This is a common myth. Programs such as Ableton, Logic Pro, and Bitwig have never been referenced in any historical text. Further, searching literally any music tutorial on YouTube will greet you with the creator using FL Studio. Don't fall for fake programs, there's only one. Step 2. Find your music to steal. Let's face it, it's hard to write music, and that's why we're not going to. Why do that when all the hard work is already done for you? Search YouTube for endless lo-fi samples to steal from dead artists in order to prep your song. They can be jazz, and that's pretty much it. You'll find tons of samples thrown together in playlists with no doubt tons of comments from other lo-fi producers. Don't let this get you down. I'm sure your slowed down beat with the snare on 2 and 4 will be much more unique than anything they can come up with. Now let's add that link into a YouTube to MP3 converter because as we all know, those aren't sketchy in the least bit. Once you've ignored the countless ads and antivirus alerts on your computer begging you not to do this, download your MP3. Step 3. Slow down your sample. So now we have our music we stole, <laughs> sorry, I mean sample. Now throw that sample into a track. Don't worry about chopping it up or doing anything interesting. Just slow that bad boy down. See how easy that was? Step 4. Finish your song. Let's start with the beat. Some beats contain syncopation, drum breaks, fills, different velocities, and many different hats and layered snares making them very complex. However, yours won't be. Add your snares on 2 and 4, then hi-hats, and your kick. Amazing. Now add a totally not overused vinyl crack sound throughout the entire song. Let's have a listen. Wow, how totally unique and unlike any other lo-fi that literally everyone else makes. Now would be the time to mix and master, but like most beginner lo-fi producers, we just won't do that. We'll be pumping these songs out by the hundred, so save your time on all that boring stuff that doesn't matter. You already put the song together in six minutes, and it sounds good coming out of your decade-old Logitech computer speakers. That should be good enough. Step 5. Advertise. Now that we have our banger lo-fi track to 24-7 study chill relax to, it's time to get the good word out. Let's face it. Everyone makes lo-fi now, so you need a way to get the most viewers in the shortest amount of time. The best people to send your song to will always be your friends and family. Once they know you're a music producer, they'll wait day in and day out for that next SoundCloud link you send them. Make sure to tell them this one is definitely fire to entice them to listen even more. Secondly, let's share it with the world. Strangers on Reddit will 100% not criticize you or downvote you for your self-promotion. Ignore all self-promotion rules on any subreddit as that's more of a loose guideline. Now just sit back and wait for those views to come in. Lastly, you can submit your music to the mecca of all lo-fi, Chilled Cow, which has been recently renamed to Lo-Fi Girl. Now you're probably wondering, Matt, will I get royalties paid to me for this channel using my music as content and playing it to hundreds of thousands of people every single day? <laughs> Uh, but the answer is no. The channel will make money off playing your music, and you'll get something even better. The infamous exposure bucks. Your name will pop up in a terrible font right in the top left of the video. So just hope that someone who's listening to this channel will take the time to turn their substance abuse haze eyes at your name in the corner. Then hope that they will take the time to type your name in a YouTube, happen to somehow find your 10 sub YouTube channel, and then give you one single view. Wow, talk about exponential growth. But don't worry, I'll be doing something just as helpful. I'll be sending all my thoughts and prayers your way.